wait so before you skip ahead i have a little channel message for you um and also my name is john in case you're new so i ordered a bracelet from etsy and the seller included a little free sticker with the order and this is the sticker it says good days ahead and i actually had one last blank card left from my handmade deck and i was like you know what i'm gonna turn this sticker into a card but i feel like this is a sign this good days ahead is a sign for not just me but that my collective as well if you were drawn to this video if you were drawn to this reading chances are you have good days ahead of you where things are going to be getting better you're going to be experiencing improvements in some aspect of your life some of you are about to enter into a very happy and peaceful phase where you're going to be experiencing security and a peace of mind you know life isn't always perfect so if you do have something you need to worry about, you're going to have very little slash nothing to worry about in this new phase or cycle that you're going to be entering into. So like I said, this was just a little short channel message. Um, I have four cards out. Pick whichever card you feel the most intuitively drawn to. You can pick up to two options with this pile. Timestamps will be down below in the description box. And I hope you enjoy your reading, okay? Option number one is the White Owl. Option number two is Tiger. Option number three is elephant, and then option number four is koi fish. And I'll meet you at your reading. Okay, if you feel like you need more time to pick, pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Okay, if you were drawn to the white owl, let's take a look at the good days ahead for you. And I'm using my handmade deck. So what good days are ahead for you? Life purpose. Life path, direction, safety, and protection from getting lost, awakening, self-discovery. You're about to be protected from getting lost. Some of you, you are on the right track. Some of you could have already been operating within your life purpose or at least headed towards it. But like, it's almost like something distracted you where you kind of veered off course a little bit. But with the good days ahead, you're going to get back track. You're, I'm hearing you're going to get back on track. And some of you are going to be experiencing some sort of awakening, like another awakening. I believe we go through many different awakenings in our life. But, um, you know, you're about to go through another awakening. With self-discovery, is going to lead you to discover a part of yourself um, that you didn't even know existed. Maybe some of you are going to be tapping into new gifts or hidden talents, for example. We have friends, colleagues, family, coworkers, acquaintances, people you know, friends, community, and people around you. So something about you have you have a purpose to fulfill with the people that are like like-minded individuals in your life. Have you guys like have a very, very unique purpose to fulfill with each other? So you're about to be collaborating or working with someone or some people in some capacity is part of your life purpose and things are going to go successfully with this with individuality you're someone who's very different something about you is a bit quirky you come off as someone like you know people feel like they don't meet people like you every day even your perspective is really different is the way that you're perceived 444 could be significant some of you, you could be stepping into this strong, independent boss energy with this not your babe energy. No BS, no fake shit, block button user. So you're not afraid to 
cut people or situations out of your life if they're not good for you. Or maybe that's just something that you need to do. What are some good days ahead for you? Okay, so the good days ahead of you is you're going to get the opportunity to let your light shine or spirit is encouraging you to let your light shine because you have a very bright aura. Like I said, a lot of you, maybe you could be tap tapping into hidden talents because talents it came out. Spirit is saying, don't dumb yourself down or dim your light to fit in because there's going to be a situation that arises where you're going to have to stand up and stand out. This could even be some sort of leadership position. Some of you are meant to be seen and admired. This is part of your life purpose and you're going to be stepping into that. Yeah, you're going to have, there's going to be progress and forward movement and it may not always be easy. It may require your willpower. It may require, you know, you to step into this energy of determination, self-restraint and discipline, but I see you doing it. And with life is good, we're literally asking about good days ahead and it says life is good. So you're headed towards a phase where you're going to be feeling like life is good, like everything is going well, seemingly. On a mundane level, this could represent the purchase of a new vehicle, 777. So maybe some of you could be buying a new car as well. Let me get one more. And even if it's not a car, I'm picking up on a large purchase. So some of you, you could have money coming towards you where you're going to be able to like make some sort of large purchase. I'm hearing some of you, this is, you're buying something that you've been needing. I'm hearing laptop for some of you. Maybe some of you are going to be buying a new MacBook or something like this. Yeah, your finances are improving because of your life purpose. You're stepping into your life path. You're in the, you're like, you're about to be headed in the right direction. And as a result, your finances will improve. What are the good days ahead of you? What are some good days ahead of you? The day you buy your new car is going to be a good day. You're going to be really, really happy. Also, it says mistakes help you grow. So instead of dwelling on the past and having, you know, a lot of regrets, you're choosing to look at these situations as a lesson as opposed to you know something that you you dwell on or don't move on from you're coming to the realization that mistakes help you grow so you've had your fair share of trials and tribulations that you've been able to like walk away from with a lot of lessons and more wisdom and experience under your belt and it's aided in your personal growth right you either you've already learned from your mistakes or you're about to you're about to take accountability and with the advice spirit is saying be open to change so you have some sort of change coming your way um some of you have somebody in your energy who wants to apologize to you they want to make amends um this is someone who might take accountability for something that they did or didn't do um and this is someone who wants to make peace with you is a random side message I'm picking up. We have events, parties, fun, concerts, festival, amusement parks. So yeah, speaking of good days ahead of you, I see you entering into a phase where life is going to be really fun. I see you going to a lot of events, different parties, concerts, festivals, amusement parks, shows, movies, conventions, fair, basically anywhere that requires ticket admission to get in. I see you going out, out and about, being outside, having a lot of fun. And you're going to be feeling yourself because you're, you're going to be looking good, right? You're going to be looking good because you're going to be putting extra time and energy and effort into self-care, prioritizing yourself, right? And looking good is feeling good. You're going to be getting a lot of compliments. Some people might be envious. Some people might feel like you have a big ego. But no, it's just that you're loving yourself more because maybe things weren't always like this, right? You're becoming your own cheerleader. You're becoming more self-reliant where at first, you know, things weren't always like this for you. All right. So that's what I'm picking up for the handmade deck. I'm going to end the reading with some Oracle messages. Also, if you like how I read, especially if you resonate with some of the messages, you can check out my members only. The link to join will be down below. Or you can order your very own video reading on my website, www.jahantaroshop.com. Again, all of the links for that will be down below, okay? So to end the reading, what else do you need to know about the good days ahead? 
Okay, yeah. So speaking of life, life purpose and direction, we have confirmation coming out. Direction. Spirit is saying, trust your inner compass and find your bearings, which I was about to say, but it kind of slipped my mind because I always say on this channel that, you know, your intuition is like your life's GPS. It will never steer you wrong, right? And it's literally telling you to trust your inner compass, right? So your intuition, trust your intuition. It will never lead you in, a, in the wrong direction. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger who brings revelations, solutions, and inspiration. Moments of sudden clarity may be a sign that Gabriel has come to assist. Trumpet-shaped flowers, moonstone, or ancient writings, impl writing implements may also appear. So some of you, moonstone could be significant. Maybe some of you are going to be looking into ancient manuscripts. I also heard cuneiform. Um, you know, maybe you're going to be doing some research or maybe you need to do some, uh, look into, you know, some things that might spark your interest. Maybe there's going to be a new topic of study that sparks your interest. Even life-changing information that you're going to be gaining. Like you're going to be gaining some sort of clarity, okay? Um, also, speaking of like, I said something about ticket admission to get in. We have travel, right? When you travel, you need an air ticket, an airplane ticket. So some of you, maybe you could be traveling and you know, this is going to be like really fun. It says seeing the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to see the coral. So you're going to be doing some traveling. Some of you, this could be overseas travel. There's about to be a new beginning for you. So like I said, in the beginning of the reading, for those of you um, who didn't skip the or if you skip the beginning, the channel message, go back and listen to it. Some of you are about to start some sort of new phase. Don't be afraid to start small, okay? And then dare. It's just take a risk and fly. So some of you, there's a need for you to venture outside of your comfort zone or you're about to be venturing outside of your comfort zone. All right, so this one I'm picking up for the good days ahead of you. Hopefully this will give you some clarity. Um, thank you for tuning in. Infinite abundance as always, and you'll see me in your next reading. Bye. All right, if you were drawn to Tiger, let's take a look at the good days ahead of you. I just heard blessings. So you could have blessings coming into your life. You're attracting blessings. What are the good days ahead of you? What are some of the good days ahead of you? What are some of the good things ahead of you? Good days. I heard, I, I almost said, I actually did say good things. So, so some of you, you have good things coming your way. I was almost stuttering too. I don't know if somebody stutters or they have a speech impediment or maybe they even speak a different language or have an accent. This could be you. Um, some of you, you're going to be experiencing blessings and love. So maybe you could be meeting a new love if you're single. This person could have an accent or speak a different language. Yeah, options. Some of you are going to find yourself with options, multiple different options. Spirit is saying, don't don't put all of your eggs in one basket. The advice is don't risk everything on the success of just one thing or one venture. Keep your options open and choose wisely and try to get as much information as possible about all of your options. That way you can make an informed decision because you're going to find yourself with many different options. You're going to find yourself standing at a crossroads metaphorically where you're going to have to figure out which path you're going to go down. There's going to be multiple different possibilities. This could be in love. This could be in career. This could be in terms of opportunities coming your way. You're going to find yourself with options. So just take your time with choosing. Choose wisely and make an informed decision so that you can end up with the right fit for you. It says what you do today can improve all of your tomorrows. Investing in the future. So I see you investing in your future or somebody in your energy, somebody that you're going to be dealing with in love is going to be looking at you like somebody they want to invest in. Maybe some of you, if this is like in a business sense, you could have a, an investor. I heard angel investor coming towards you who wants to invest in your idea, invest in your startup, invest in your idea. Some of you, maybe you already have some sort of idea 
that you conceptualize or you're about to in the future and you have somebody who's coming in wanting to invest in you. Others of you, this could be like in a love sense where somebody is looking at you like they want to invest in you in the context of love. This is someone who's going to want, like, yeah, this person is coming towards you. They're going to be making short-term plans with you and they're going to be making long-term plans with you as well. And they're going to start planting seeds. So they might drop little hints here and there that they're interested in something long-term with you. They're interested in marriage. Maybe some of them might talk about how they want children someday. They're bringing all of this up in conversation to drop hints and plant seeds in your mind. Hoping that these, you know, these seeds will sprout and bear fruit and come into fruition. So for those of you who are single, I see good days ahead of you um, in terms of like love where you're going to be talking with somebody. But I see you having options in love in general. Also, good some good days ahead can also like include future reward for effort. Whatever it is that you've been putting your time, energy or effort into or whatever it is that you're going to be putting your time, energy, or effort into in the future, you're going to get a profit. It's going to, you're, like, you're going to get something back. It's not going to be in vain. So I see you being very proud. Um, it's almost like the energy of like making your own money or making your a lot of your own money. You know what I mean? Like you being very proud of your accomplishments, even though, you know, we're all adults and you should be doing that anyway. But there's something like inspiring about this harvest coming your way or this profit you're going to be very proud of for whatever reason connection top 10 wi-fi internet world wide web and tune online networking information technology yeah some of you this person you're going to be dealing with in love they could do something stem related some of them do, does something in it or in the internet and i keep wanting to stutter and i don't stutter so I, something about the way somebody talks there could be like Like 50 Cent is coming to mind. You know how like he got pulled in his in his jaw or something and that gave him that lips. But it was, you know, it made him famous because it kind of altered his voice a little bit with the way he raps. Right. I'm picking up something like that, like the way somebody talks. Like, it's almost like they might consider it a flaw or you might consider it a flaw, but it actually makes you sound really cool. But anyways, but yeah, some of you, you might meet this person you're going to be dealing with online on the internet. Something about the internet could be significant. You could do something online or this person does. Your manifestations are coming into fruition and the universe is like kind of reminding you like, hey, the universe has your name and address on file. Like we haven't forgotten about you. Maybe some of you have been wondering about your manifestations, like, dang, why is it taking so long? Will it ever happen? And the universe is like, hey, you know, tapping you on the shoulder, like, we haven't a, a forgotten about you. We have your file. We have your name and address on file. We know where you live, right? With the law of attraction, your manifestations are coming. Your desires are within reach. And some of you, you could already be seeing signs and synchronicities of this, or you're about to start seeing this. Like you're literally going to be bombarded with all the angel numbers, all the feathers, all the, you know, synchronistic music that comes on when you walk, as soon as you walk in the, and, and you used to get in the car and turn on the radio, you know, the song that comes on just happens to just really resonate with you or speak to your spirit. Or maybe it's, it was your Nana who crossed over his favorite song. So that's like just really synchronistic as a random example. But the point I'm trying to make is the universe has been trying to find ways. I'm hearing subtle ways to tell you, hey, your manifestation is coming. This is the update. This is the ETA on your manifestation. And some of you, because you've kind of been ignoring the subtle, uh, subtle signs and synchronicities, I'm hearing it's about to get turned up a notch where it's going to be louder. Like I'm hearing the song. Remember that song by what, what, what was his name? I think Roscoe Dash. It was really popular in like 2009 ish. Um, all the way turned up. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like the signs are about to be even more so than before because the universe is really trying to convey to you um, a message and you need to pay attention to the signs. Yeah, what, what did I say? A lot of you are attracting love. 
deep affection and love, infatu infatuation, emotional connection, and head over at heels in love. The good days that you have ahead of you, you're not going to be experiencing all by yourself. You're going to be with somebody. For some of you, this is going to be a new person. Also, this is love for self. So a lot of you are manifesting this love because you've been showing yourself love, right? If you treat yourself well, if you prioritize your self-love and your self-care, all of the relationships in your life will start to mirror the relationship you have with yourself, right? Because if you treat yourself with love and respect and kindness... You're not going to let anybody treat you any type of way because you love yourself, right? And so because you love yourself, you're a magnet. Like, it's almost like it's making you a magnet for love. And I'm hearing the desirable type of love, not no struggle love or dusty, musty, crusty type of love. This is the kind of love or suitors that come your way. Like I said, you have options in love coming your way that you would actually be attracted to because you've managed to raise your frequency. It says roots, ancient ancestry, ancient DNA, past life. So this person you're going to be dealing with, you guys could have like share a past life. And anytime the topic of like reincarnation comes up, I highly recommend this book. This guy's, this man's story is just so intriguing. I was, I was compelled. No, I was compelled, but no, I was compelled. This is, this was a very fascinating story. Check this out. Hold on. But anyway, so... Some of you might have a past life with this person you're going to be dealing with in love. So you're going to feel this sense of familiarity. It's like you, you're going to feel really comfortable around each other. You're going to be really goofy around each other. It's going to be one of those like connections between like two kindred souls. Some of you could have literally had like a past life in ancient Egypt or some sort of like advanced civilization like Atlantis or, you know, I. I think that's like pseudoscience, but I look, I believe it. I believe it. Something like this. You had a past life connection with this person. This is someone who's going to want to start a family with you. And it's almost like a lot of you, um, you revere your ancient ancestors or your ancestors. Maybe some of you could be very spiritual or maybe that this person you're going to be dealing with this. So it's almost like the ancestors blessings are all over this. It's almost like you're being guided to one another. This person you're going to end up with, you might end up getting married to, and you guys might have a family. Also, when you look at this, this is like a pharaoh, right? And when you think of a pharaoh, pharaoh, he was like the head honcho in the society. Everybody knew who pharaoh was. Pharaoh was a celebrity. So for some of you, maybe this person embodies this energy. This person you're going to be dealing with in love could hold some sort of high position in society, right? They could like be a chairman of like a company or a CFO, CEO. They could be very well known. Some of them could be famous. They could be a celebrity, of course, on a large or small, small scale on or offline, right? For some of you, you know, when I say a celebrity or famous in readings, this could be Jim who owns the local deli. Everybody goes to Jim to go, you know, buy their weekly fix of meat, right? For their family. So everybody knows Jim. You can get a brisket, you know, two for one, it's a good deal. So everybody in town knows Jim. So in essence, that would kind of, Jim would show up as a celebrity because he's well known in his, his locality, in his, you know, wherever he's from, right? This could be like the local newscaster, the person that does the, what are they called? The meteorologists. Everybody knows him, right? Because he's been doing it for 10 years, right? In essence, he would be considered a celebrity in these readings. So like I said, it could... Yes, of course, you never know who's watching. Of course, it could be like an A-list celebrity. But realistically, it could resonate in other ways. Maybe this is someone who has like a large Instagram following, for example. Or they get a lot of views on their Snapchat, right? I'm picking up this person you're going to be dealing with in love is well-known or popular in some capacity on or offline. Or this could even be you. Overall energy... This can also be someone who's well-traveled, but the good days ahead for you is I'm picking up on the energy of like vacation. Also, I have like a vacation pick a card reading. You can check it out under my playlist. But yeah, some of you are going to be going on a vacation with this lover you're going to be dealing with, road trips and air flights. So there's going to be a lot of travel. I'm picking up, this is someone who could like, they, ha they literally have to travel for work. But like they're going to be tagging, like you're going to be tagging along with them. Underneath that, it says no face, no case. Somebody who ghosted you, somebody who rejected you, this could even be an ex, could be watching you. 
with this new person and they're, they're going to be jealous. So like I said, you have options in love. You have people in the cut watching you. You have people that are watching you secretly. You're going to meet new people in the future. Some of these people that are with this no face, no case energy, um, some of them might reveal themselves. Some of them might pop out of the woodwork. It's almost like with this manifestation energy, I don't know what you've been doing, but like your energy is like really magnetic. Oh, okay. It's because you're a high vibrational person. So you've managed to raise your vibration. So it's making you extremely magnetic. People are viewing you as lovable, trustworthy, no drama, a creative, an empath, self-aware, and spiritual. And you're very high vibrational. So it's making you, like I said, like a moth to a flame type shit. All right. So to end the reading, let's get some oracle messages for the good days ahead. Also, if you like how I read, especially if you resonate with some of you know the messages that come out, Consider ordering your very own video reading on my website, www.johantaylorshop.com. Or you can sign up for my members only where I post exclusive content. Okay. I just did a 2025 predictions, pick a card reading. So check that out if you're interested. But let's take a look to end the reading. What else you need to know about the good days ahead? Okay, some of you, um, Archangel Uriel is trying to work with you. It says the light of God manifests his presence through inspiration and heightened intuition. He can be felt in the solar plexus chakra and seen in sparks of electric power, amber gemstones, the color red and gold, lotus blossoms, and the sun. Okay, so those things could be synchronistic in some way. Yeah, the good days ahead, there's about to be some sort of change that brings these good days towards you. It says no one, no one to move to a new shell, especially if yours no longer fits. So yeah, some of you are going to outgrow a relationship or outgrow a job or outgrow something in your life and you're going to end up moving or changing something and then you're going to be experiencing these good days. So you're going to be entering into some sort of pleasant phase of your life once you make this change. After outgrowing someone or something. What did I... Was it in this... I forget. Sometimes I like... I confuse the piles. But was it in this option that I, I made the example of like getting in the car and then the song comes on the radio and it just really speaks to your soul, right? It says the angels have so many ways to communicate with you. When the same song keeps reoccurring through your day, there's a reason. Listen carefully. So your guardian angels are going to be communicating with you through music. The universe is going to be communicating with you through music. You might randomly have a song stuck in your head that you haven't heard in years. That is not a coincidence, beloved. These are all messages and signs and synchronicity from the universe, your guardian angels, and your ancient ancestors. Generosity. What good is treasure if you keep it to yourself? Some of you, this person you're going to be dealing with in love that's given this feral energy could be, like I said, they could be in the public eye in some capacity or really popular, but they're going to be very generous towards you. They're going to show you a lot of kindness. And for a lot of you, this is someone who has a lot of money or a lot of resources that they're going to be sharing with you. So that's dope. Let's get one more to end the reading for your good days ahead. You're going to feel like this person rescued you. <laughs> or maybe this person might help you out of a situation. Maybe this is how you'll meet this lover that you're going to be dealing with. It says help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. Yeah, they're going to show you some sort of generosity or help you. Um, this could even be maybe you when you you meet them when you travel and like you get lost and you know you ask them for directions and then you guys end up exchanging numbers for example. I'm picking up they're gonna help you with something. This is how you're gonna end up meeting them and like they're gonna help you just in life. Some of you this could be like a benefactor or like an angel investor or like a sugar daddy even is given the energy of for some right dance take inspiration from the moonlight dancing on the surface of the sea. Some of you might be out dancing out at a party out at an event where there's music playing and you meet this person like i'm just picking up some of you you have somebody new coming in your life you have options you're going to meet one of your options online you may meet one of them in person but I, i'm just picking up on options and love coming your way we have anchor keep yourself grounded so it's important that you keep yourself grounded because i'm picking up on the energy of like somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet so spirit is saying get grounded and a lot of you your benefit your manifestations are going to come in when you least expect it and I'm hearing it's going to throw you for like a loop. Or is that the expression? Like it's going to 
you're i don't know how to explain it like you're gonna lose your mind but in a good way so you need to stay grounded okay but yeah i'm gonna end it here thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for your support and love throughout the years i'm infinite abundance and you will see me in your next one bye All right, elephant. Let's take a look at the good days ahead for you. What are the good days ahead? What are the good days ahead? What can you look forward to? What are the good days ahead? Okay. So I have I have stuff on my table and I'm drawn to a bottle that says intimacy and I'm drawn to the word a lover. So some of you, your good days ahead is going to include intimacy, a lover, and really good sex. If you're single, you could be meeting somebody, attracting somebody new into your life. With this elephant energy, this could be someone who's a gentle giant. This is someone who could like be really big, like muscular, plus size, really tall. They may even kind of look intimidating, but this is someone who's like the sweet, the, like sweetest person you'll ever meet. This could be you or this is the person you're going to be dealing with. Also, I learned this from like, you remember Bazooka, the bubble gum from back in the 90s? I don't know if they still have those around, but like. You know, like they used to put fun facts inside the bubblegum wrapper. So I learned this fact from a bubblegum wrapper when I was little. But there are two main types of elephants. There's the Indian elephants and African elephants. And the way that you can tell the difference is the African elephants typically have bigger ears. So I still have to say with this elephant energy, I'm picking up on either you or someone you're going to be dealing with in love could be of Indian or African descent. When I say Indian, it could be, you know, Asian Indian or it could even be Native American Indian, right? Um, or they could be of African descent or you are, okay? Beautiful. So the good days ahead are coming towards you after you going through a period of major change. You're going to be experiencing some sort of rebirth, a metamorphosis, a transformation. Not just like on the inner level where on the inside you're going to be changing, but like on an outward, like the way you look might even change. Something about maybe some of you are going to be losing a lot of weight, a significant amount of weight. Maybe some of you are going to be getting in better shape. Maybe some of you, if you had dreads, or excuse me, if you had your head locked, because I think dread is offensive to say, so forgive my ignorance. But if you had your hair locked, maybe you're going to be cutting your hair. Maybe you had your hairstyle for a certain way and you're changing it, right? Maybe... You never had logs, but now you're going to start growing your hair out. Like, you know, those are just random examples. But the point I'm trying to make is something about your physical appearance is about to change, but like in a massive way, like a, no a very noticeable way where if like somebody that knows you sees you, they're going to gasp like, oh my God, wow, you look so different is the energy I'm picking up. Okay. Some of you, you're evolving. You could even be going through a makeover. Okay. Yeah, look. It's going to make you look and feel better with this aesthetic, beauty, and good taste, fashionable, style, artistic, and visually appealing. Some of you are becoming baddies, right? I'm picking up on the energy of like ugly Betty, and I'm not calling you ugly, but I'm just picking up on the energy of like this major transformation where like, you know how sometimes you'll see before and after pictures and they low key look the same. No, for you, I'm picking up on like a massive change. So I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody watching that is meant to resonate with the storyline. For some of you, it could be weight loss. For some of you, it could be. I, like, I don't know. It could be different for everybody. And it's going to be like a major change. But you're going to be looking better after this transformation. Maybe some of you are getting your braces off, right? Um, maybe some of you... What are some massive changes that people go through? Maybe some of you are getting your titty done, right? Or maybe you're getting them reduced. Maybe some of you... Like, I don't know. Maybe if, maybe you're gaining muscle mass. Maybe like you know you're bulking up. Maybe you're going to be looking healthier. Like there's going to be some sort of massive change with how you look. But also on an inner level, like some of you, there might be a little shift in your personality. You know, you know, like maybe the way you see the world might shift with maturation. Where you know maybe now you're getting older, so naturally you know your views may shift. And because your views have shifted, the way you act and present yourself may change as well. Okay. 
it's almost like there's going to be some sort of major change that you go through that's going to usher in the good days ahead. Let's get more. Let's get like three more. Please show me the good days ahead. What is the energy surrounding the good days ahead? Yeah, so I'm picking up on a glow up, a makeover. Some of you, this lover you're going to be dealing with could be from overseas. They could be from a different country, a different race, culture, identity, background, ethnicity, origin, or tribe, if that resonates with some of you. Something about their nationality could be different than yours. Some of them with diversity, they could be like racially ambiguous or they could be like mixed or maybe you are. But yeah, I'm picking up on the energy of like attracting a lover there's going to be like a, a lot of intimacy and some of you you're going to be achieving some sort of i'm hearing personal goal you're going to feel like it's an accomplishment so you're going to be celebrating that travel is also indicated you could be traveling maybe some of you are going to meet somebody when you travel or again this person you're going to be dealing with could be from a different town city or country but yeah you're about to go through some sort of completion that brings you a sense of fulfillment and then the good days are ushered in Right now, you are being called to relax. Spirit is saying, just let shit go. It doesn't matter anymore. Slow down. If you've ever looked at videos of like a sloth, they're so slow, right? Some of you, the sloth could be another one of your spirit animals or totem, as well as the elephant. So maybe look that up for additional clarity. But Spirit is saying, you need to let shit go. Okay, some of you, you need to meditate more. With physical and breathing exercises, these will help you get grounded. Enjoy and explore nature more. Maybe this is some of you, you're going to be doing that. The advice is to release the past for your own inner peace and sanity. Practice the forgiveness and your life will take off once you let go. Some of you, whether you realize it or not, you could still be holding on to people or things from the past that have passed their expiration date. It's time to let that shit go. And once you do, your life will take off and it'll bring in, you know, these happy days. Introvert, you could be an introvert, you could be shy, all about me, myself, and I, independent, reserved, withdrawn, a her hermit, a loner, you could be a solitary wallflower, a homebody, okay? Or maybe the person you're going to be dealing with perceives you as an introvert, or the person you're going to be dealing with is an introvert themselves. The fool's journey, so yeah, you're about to embark upon some sort of new journey, right? With this major change, you're embarking upon some sort of new journey, and then the happy days follow. Some of you, this person is going to be a fool in love for you. They're going to be infatuated with you. They're going to be intoxicated by you. They're going to be obsessed with you. 1111 is coming up twice. Purity of action. This person has pure intentions for you. This person you're going to be dealing with. And for a lot of you, you know, especially with this, this fool card is confirming the overseas energy. The fool energy sometimes could be a new person or... This person could be from a, a new place that you've never been or that you're not fam too familiar with. Or it could be a new person. Or you're going to meet them when you travel somewhere you're not familiar with. Some of you, this person is a traveler. Or maybe they're a backpacker. Because the fool, he looks like a hitchhiker. Right? With his little, his I don't even know what those things are called. But yeah. Yeah, look, alien, foreign, unknown, new, strange, unique, otherworldly, unfamiliar, odd, different, overseas, external, exotic, a person or situation you're unaware of. Example, a new person or a situation you know nothing about. Literally, I just got done saying this and look. So yeah, for a lot of you, this is a new person you're going to be dealing with in love. And for some of you, if it's not a new person and it's someone you already know, this person is a new person. When you meet them, you're going to be like, wow, you've really changed. Since the last time I seen you, they're going to come off as a new person, right? Or this is you. The next time people see you, because you've gone through a major change or transformation, I'm hearing like people are going to gasp like, oh my God, you like unrecognizable. Some people may even walk right past you and not recognize you. But yeah, you have a new person coming towards you. Or if it's someone you already know, this is a situation you know nothing about. You have no idea that this person is into you romantically or that they're planning to ask you out totally oblivious 
Yeah, for some of you, if this is someone you already know, this is someone who could have frustrated you in the past. This is someone who could have you could have had conflict with in some capacity because <laughs> this is a situation or a person who makes you roll your eyes. Five, five, five. The advice is disengage from conflict, release toxicity, both inner and outer toxicity, which is crazy because it says inner, inner and outer changes and inner and outer toxicity. So maybe some of you are going to go through this period where you're going to enter like you're going to release any inner toxicity. This could be like bitterness, right? This could be like. You know, I don't know, heart hurt feelings that maybe you 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 held on to from the past, from trauma and like you know negative experiences. You're going to be releasing that, or a need for you to release that. And the moment you release it, you're going to notice that you're happier, that you feel lighter. Also, you have somebody who wants to apologize. Like I said, a situation you know nothing about. This is someone you could have fallen out with, a friend, a lover, an ex, whatever. And by all means, you can do what you please, but it is important that you forgive people just for your own inner peace. You don't have to kick it with these people. You don't have to let these people back in your life just for your own inner peace, right? Like they say, holding on to hot coals, you know, is like holding on to grudges. Ultimately, who do you burn? You burn yourself. So just for your own peace, release these motherfuckers. Let it go. Forgive them. But yeah, you have blessings from the universe and the divine coming through. It's going to re restore your hope and your faith. I'm hearing something that's going to happen and you're going to be like, wow, I believe in the power of the universe. Oh, wow, there is a God. Oh, wow. You know, I believe, right? Because you're going to start to see the power. Like I'm hearing the universe works in mysterious ways. Some of your wishes are coming true. Also underneath that, look at what's there. Home. Moving slash relocating abroad. Different country than origin. Home away from home. By coastal. Living slash working on the east and west coast. By continental. Living slash working in two countries. So maybe the person you're going to be dealing with is like this. They live this lifestyle. Or maybe you're going to move to be with them or travel to be, go visit them. Stay with them for six months and then come back home. Or maybe you and this person will end up in a relationship where this is the lifestyle that you're going to live together. I got this picture from a magazine and this is actually in Hawaii. So maybe for some of you, Hawaii or like a tropical warm place could be significant or relevant. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have options in love choices. You're going to have options and opportunities as well as in work, right? Somebody does something in the media. It says mass communication and viral. Maybe something that you do is going to go viral. Or some, somebody that you're dealing with, again, they do something regarding books, magazines, newspapers, TV, movies, video games, music, podcasts, radio. Maybe they have a YouTube channel. Maybe they could have their own online community. Or they're, they're in the spotlight in some capacity. Or maybe you are. Okay? Um, some of you, something that you do is about to go viral. I'm hearing like you getting a lot of positive attention about something or someone that you do online, possibly. All right, to end the reading, let's see. I just wanted four, but these two extra cards came out. What else do you need to know about the good days ahead? Five, 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 eleven, eleven could be significant. Zero, zero, zero. What else do you need to know about the good days ahead? dream your dreams could be coming true it says have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book some of you are going to get a chance to just you know kind of relax right not not do anything take time out for yourself maybe you're going to be reading more books or i need for you to read more books okay communicate spirit is trying to communicate with you through your dreams so pay attention to your dreams maybe keep a dream journal it says things left unsaid will never reach the shore what did i say about somebody who like you could have had conflict with you fell out with maybe you both got on each other's nerve they feel like there's unfinished business they feel like there's things that have been left unsaid and they want to communicate with you they want there to be a major change with this dynamic yeah, some of you, you could have had trouble or problems with this person. They want things to change. But that's up to you, right? This is just a reading. What else do you need to know about the good days ahead? Yeah, this person want, wants to share good days ahead with you. Maybe some of you are going to be sharing good days ahead with this person. Maybe you're going to forgive each other, right? Maybe some of you will not.
Move. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Yeah, so like I said, this is giving me weight loss energy. Some of you are losing weight because you're moving your body more. You're going to be prioritizing your, your health. Some of you, you're going to be moving your body because when you move, you know, it can't gather no moss. You can't gain weight if you're moving. You can maintain your weight or lose weight or get healthier. Also, some of you could literally be moving. Like I said, with that bicoastal, some of you, the person you're going to be meeting or dealing with in love lives in a different town, city, or country. So you might move or travel to go and see this person or be with this person. Wild. Believe in your otherworldly beauty. Dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine. So I see you going out, having a lot of fun. This person you're going to be dealing with is going to take you um, dancing. You guys are going to go to a lot of events together. A lot of, you know, fine whining and dining. This, you and this person are going to have a really good time. So, yeah, I see the good days ahead for you. You're going to be sharing it with somebody like a lover, an intimate lover. A romantic relationship is coming into view. Let's get two more to end the reading. Just I just want two more. What else do you need to know to end the reading for your good days ahead? your aura is really fortified like your energy is really protected because like it's like she has three layers to her aura first is blue then it's green and then it's pink and when i made this card i didn't do that on purpose like i didn't mean for that to like be an aura but like now that i do readings i kind of notice that in the card sometimes so some of you you could have a pink aura a green aura or a blue aura some of you could have natural hair or somebody's going to really, really appreciate your natural beauty. Oh, yeah, that's what the card said. I forgot. It slipped my mind. Some of you, this person is going to view your beauty as otherworldly. Um, you may look exotic to this person you're going to be dealing with. So maybe something about you is going to be different than them, like I already said. Some of you have curly or wavy hair. You have surprises in store for you, okay? It's just venture down the rabbit hole. Maybe with that, read more books and rabbit hole. Some of you are going to be studying new topics. New topics might spark your interest. Maybe with that rabbit hole energy, you're going to be learning about new conspiracy theories and shit like that. Yeah, take the helm. Be in control of your own ship. So the, I'm seeing like the good days ahead for you. You're going to be in control. The ball is going to be in your court. You're in control. You're to like I'm getting the the visual. I don't know if anybody's ever seen the movie. Is it called Captain Philip? Where like he was a captain on a ship and he got hijacked by the Somalian um pirates. And when he like sees the captain's whatever it's called, he was like, I'm the captain now, right? And he was like this to him. So yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Like, motherfucker, you are the captain now. You are the captain of your own ship. The ball is in your court, right? what you say goes type shit okay so i'm gonna end it here this has been the good days ahead for you hopefully this gave you some clarity check out my members only check out my website for your very own video reading infinite abundance you'll see me in your next reading bye all right last but not least you are drawn to the koi fish which which are a symbol of prosperity and abundance so the good days ahead for you it's like I'm hearing the lap of luxury. Like you're going to be dealing with luxurious people, things, and places. I'm picking up on like a, a whole lot of money. The good days ahead of, of you, you're going to be experiencing prosperity. I'm hearing like the best is yet to come. And you're just going to keep getting richer and richer and richer. Like literally go on YouTube right now. I think it's the Business Insider did a piece on koi fish. Some koi fish are like literally millions of dollars. Koi fish are very expensive fish. So yeah, some of you, your value is going up. Your money is increasing. I'm hearing something valuable. I heard equity. Something is going up in value. You're going to be receiving something valuable. You could be getting a promotion. How, however much money you used to make, you're going to be making more of it. Some of you are going to be finding new ways to make money. So I'm hearing like a second, third, fourth streams of income. I just heard millionaire mindset. Some of you are going to be coming into a whole lot of money. And, you know, I'm not saying this is some sort of quick, rich, you know, get quick, rich, easy come, easy go, hair today, gone tomorrow, overnight type shit. No, that's not the kind of 
money I'm talking about. I'm talking about wealth. This is the kind of wealth where your children's children's children is going to eat type type of shit. You know, it's like levels to this shit. And like the kind of wealth that you're attracting could be potentially generational wealth if you play your cards right. Some of you, of course, is something about your astrology, something about your natal chart. You need to look into your natal chart. Some of you could be an astrologist. Okay, some of you could be a tarot reader. Some of you could be a psychic. Or what's coming to mind is like, you know how they say JP Morgan said, millionaires don't have astrologists, billionaires do. Some of you, you can, like your blueprint, I'm hearing blueprint. Your, your natal chart is your blueprint to you becoming rich as fuck. So you need to take it seriously. Some of you, you're going to come into a lot of money on your own where like you're self-made or something like this. But for some of you, I'm picking up the good days ahead of you. You're coming into money by way of a partner and love is how you're going to end up coming into money. So some of you, you're going to end up marrying rich. And some of you already know this. You could already have a feeling that you're going to marry rich. And I always say it on the channel. Everybody's not going to marry a millionaire. It's just the reality that we live in, right? Everybody's not going to be a fucking ballerina. Everybody's not going to be a doctor. Everybody's not going to be, you know, every, <laughs> you know what I mean? We all have our different paths. So by all means, this isn't going to be for everybody. You know what I mean? But for some of you, I am picking up on like you marrying like a millionaire, a billionaire, marrying into money. Okay. I'm hearing one, the 1%. 1 yeah, there's going to be some sort of forward movement. Look, the purchase of a new vehicle. On the mundane level, this can represent the purchase of a new vehicle. Some of you are going to be buying a car or someone you're going to be dealing with in love is going to be buying a car for you. I just saw 555 because you're going to be dealing with someone who's very wealthy. I just heard ex-military. This could be like somebody who was in the military in some capacity. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. I heard special forces. So whatever this person, for those of you that resonate with the military storyline, the person you're dealing with, whoever it is, they weren't just some Joe, regular Joe Smo in the military. No, they weren't some regular degler, degler. This is someone who could have had a high security clearance. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at your cards. What are your good days ahead? Yeah, I'm just picking up on money wealth luxury generational wealth prosperity abundance for this option please show me the energy of your good days ahead for the koi fish option yeah this almost came out look grind hustle money mindset income stream flow of money getting paid charging what you're worth payback payday you have money in your energy. Look, overall energy, like I said, some of you is because you're going to be dealing with somebody who in love has a lot of money. This is someone who's going to have deep affection for you. I see you falling in love with this person. You're going to be infatuated with each other. It's going to be an emotional connection. And I see you guys being head over heels in love, right? Keyword love. You're going to be dealing with someone in love. Lavender could be significant. In some way, the color purple, lavender, right? This is actually a lavender candle. This is from, it's kind of old, from Victoria's Secrets. Um, something about lavender. Maybe some of you need to use lavender products. The color purple could be significant. Maybe literally the color purple movie could be significant for some reason. You know, lavender was, you know, used to celebrate the summer solstice. So something about summer, the summer could be significant from when, whenever you see this reading, this is a timeless reading. It was burned and bonfires to release negative energy. Maybe some of you need to get yourself a lavender smudge stick to release negative energy. You could have negative energy from the evil eye in your energy. Somebody could be sending you the evil eye. Or, oh, that's what I'm picking up. Okay, some of you, this is already in your energy, so you need to cleanse your energy. But some of you, I'm picking up. Once you start dealing with this wealthy person that's coming towards you, people are going to be very jealous of you. People are going to be sending you the evil eye. Because this person you're going to be dealing with, I'm hearing they're no joke. Their name could even ring a bell. In some cases, they could be popular or famous. This person is going to spoil you. Yeah, it says good things are coming. And we're literally asking about the good days ahead. And it literally says good things are coming. So you have good things coming. This person you're going to be dealing with might create some sort of opportunity for you. So this is the kind of person that will want to invest in you. Maybe some of you could have came from one of the other options. Or you could have messages in another option as well. 
But yeah, I see you choosing peace. Hap uh, this person is going to bring you happiness, peace, and love. This is why you're going to decide to choose this person. Because you're going to feel like you're choosing happiness, peace, and love with this person. Not only do you love them, but like they're financially stable to be able to provide for you. So this option I'm picking up, like for especially if you're single, you could have options in love. You could have options coming towards you in love. But you're going to end up choosing this person because, I mean, they're rich as fuck for one. But like you actually love them. And you're going to feel like this is someone who makes you happy. And they do make you happy. And it's going to trigger jealousy. Some of you, you could be like a psychic, you could be an intuitive, you could be a tarot reader. Just know that with this prote protection from ill intentions, envy, and jealousy, you are protected, but you also still need to like, you know, do your part. Like when we pray, oh, pr please protect us while we drive. You know, of course, creator divine will protect us while we drive, but we also have to put on our seatbelt, right? So this is the kind of energy I'm picking up. Yes, you are protected, but you also still need to keep up on your, your spiritual hygiene, right? You still need to take your spiritual baths, right? You still need to spudge and cleanse your spit. You need to keep up on your spiritual hygiene. Florida water don't cost that much, right? I like to drop little trinkets of mine too. I have a Kyrie show in here. I have some fluoride, amethyst, and citrine, right? Keep up on your spiritual hygiene. Because like I said, you're going to be attracting a lot of good things. You have good things coming your way. That's going to trigger a lot of envy and jealousy. Be, be careful who you're telling your business to. Be careful what you're posting online, right? You may be happy for other people, but not everybody's going to be happy for you, unfortunately, right? That's just the reality. 444 could be significant as well as 555. Some of you, you might end up moving in with this person, or moving home. This some of you, this person might rent a condo for you or rent a house for you. Like I'm picking up on the energy of like you being able to move. Yeah, love. You're attracting love. Some of you are attracting this love because you've been prioritizing your self-love, right? When you love yourself, treat yourself well, pamper yourself, all of the other relationships in your life start to mirror the relationship that you have with yourself. If you love yourself, you're not going to let anybody just treat you any type of way. So this person that you're attracting is going to spoil you because you spoil yourself, right? Yeah, you're showing up as a high priestess. So I'm picking up on a lot of you like being a psychic. You're a tarot reader. You're an intuitive, right? Some of you, your third eye is very active. Your crown chakra is very active. With spiritual enlightenment, you know, you have some sort of, you know, wokeness about you. With divine wisdom, some of you are channels. You channel, you know, messages from spirit all the time. Some of you could even be crafty. Maybe you like to crochet. You like to knit. I always forget what this thing is called. I know what it is, but I forget what it's called, where they sew the stitching little patterns. Some of you could be into that. You have a lot of occult knowledge. But yeah, it's this comic stereo with inner passion. So this person you're going to be dealing with in love. When you maybe some of you you're already dealing with them and they haven't shown you how they feel yet, how they feel yet. But just know, like, don't let that calm exterior fool you. On the inside, they're burning with passion for you. Or if this is someone that's like I said coming towards you in the future, when you first encounter them, you're not going to know that they're into you. Or even if you know that they're into you, you're not going to realize how much they are into you. Yeah, this is someone who's fated and destined to be in your life. It's ine inevitable and unavoidable. It's certain to happen. So if this is your story, it's certain to happen because this person is part of your destiny and fate. And all rivers run into the sea eventually, right? So you're destined to run into this person. I, always, I believe personally, whatever is meant to you will never pass you by. The advice right now is to go with the flow. Focus on yourself in the meantime because watch pots don't boil. And have patience and remain positive. Sex. Yeah, this person is going to be extremely attracted to you. The sex is going to be out of this world with that 18 plus sex, lust, passion, licking, slurping, sucking, kissing, attraction, crust, romance, intimacy, two, two, two. This might even be like a kinky connection. So you guys are going to have really, really good sex. I'm hearing like you're finding a partner that you're, you're very sexually compatible with. So not only is this person loaded, very wealthy, they're going to provide for you. You love them and the sex is going to be out of this world too. So it's almost like this person is, you're going to be ticking all of each other's boxes. And this person with this action speak louder than words. This person is going to be showing you how they feel for you. 
and how serious they are through their actions. This isn't someone who's going to talk, talk, talk. Oh, baby, I'm going to take you on vacation in three months. Get ready. Pack your bags. In July, we're going to the Bahamas. And then July comes around and then nowhere to be found. And you call them and you're like, yo, I thought we were going, we we're going out of town in July. We we're going to the Bahamas. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Something came up. You know what? To make it up for you, I just noticed this nice car on the lot. This nice Audi. I'm going to get it for you. And then they never fucking get it for you. You know, that type of shit. No, this person's going to show you. Yo, pack your bags. Next week, we're going to Antigua. Next week, rolls around. Hey, check your phone. Did you get the uh, boarding pass? Action. You guys you know, go to Antigua. Hey, when we get back, I want you to come with me. I want you to come and look at these chains that I picked out. Pick, pick whichever chain you want. Fuck, you can get them all. And then lo and behold, the jeweler pulls up and they got the chains ready. Hey, I want to buy you a car. I need you to meet me on Tuesday. We're going to the BMW dealership. You can pick out which one you want. Tuesday rolls around. Hey, my driver's outside. Meet me at the dealership at nine. Lo and behold, they buy you the cart, right? They back their words with action. Talk is cheap. So this person is going to be showing you how they truly feel about you through their actions. They say that they got money for you Monday morning at eight. They got money for you Monday morning at eight. That's it, it, shit. 759 type shit. So this person, you're going to know who this person is is because, you know, they're going to show you how they feel through their actions, right? It says people show their real attitudes rather than what words or what they say. Actions speak louder than words. So this is how you'll know who you're dealing with. And this is the person for you. They say love is an action, right? So this person is going to show you how into you they truly are. And this is the faded destined connection. So for a lot of you, this could be like a soulmate. All right, let's end the reading. What else do you need to know to end the reading for the, your good days ahead? Check out my members only. I have exclusive readings that I do specifically for the members only. So it's a smaller collective. So I, I feel like that should resonate a little bit better versus these that anybody can just click on and off of, right? It's picking up all that energy. Also, if you want your very own video private reading, check out my website, www.johantoshop.com. All of the links and information for that and how to reach me, all my playlists will be down below, okay? So to end the reading, it says share. Yeah, this person is going to spoil you. This is someone who's very wealthy. They have a lot of like material wealth and money and they're going to want to share that with you. It says the busy bee should still make time for each flower. This person is going to view you as their flower, right? They're very, very busy, but they're going to always prioritize making time to spend with you. Okay. Yeah, I just heard honeybee. That's so cute. Play. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun with this person, especially in the sheets, right? The sex is going to be really good. Among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover. Yeah, this person, it's almost like you guys are going to share that side of each other in the bedroom. Like a, a side other people don't get to see, you're going to share that little naughty secret side of each other with each other. So very freaky. Everyone and all living things have auras. And I just said something about auras. I believe in option number three. I forget. Maybe some of you came from another option. Anyways, everyone and all living things have auras. Visualize manifestations of the angel's energy surrounding us. By raising your vibrational energy and training your eyes, you will be able to see auras. So some of you could already see auras or another thing, another good thing or another good days or good times ahead of you is you're going to be able to unlock a new spiritual gift where some of you are, are unlocking the gifts of being able to see people's aura people's auric field okay dream some of you dreams could be significant maybe some of you have the gift of like deciphering dreams like you know joseph in the torah for example it says have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book some of you are going to be stumbling upon some sort of life-changing information in a book so make sure you're reading more. And last but not least, beauty. This person you're going to be dealing with is going to find you to be very beautiful. Maybe some of you are going to literally be glowing up in terms of beautiful, uh, beauty and the way you look. Some of you, this person is going to be dropping and spending a lot of money on your beauty products. Um, some of you, this person is going to take you shopping or give you money. I heard allowance. So you're going to be shopping, um, updating your wardrobe, trying new beauty treatments, getting your hair done, nails done. Like I'm just picking up on like soft era. You're going to be entering into your soft era this person you're going to be dealing with is going to be spoiling you okay so this is what i'm picking up this is beautiful 
um thank you so much for tuning in infinite abundance as always um and you guys will see me in your next one bye